don't know about you, Shaka, but the top games on Wednesday in the Champions League just look a little bit more competitive mm. than some of the games on Tuesday. A lot Chelsea, at stake as well on, on, on Wednesday. Chelsea at Mestalla against Valencia. Listen, ordinarily I would say Chelsea all day, every day, but given what we saw from Valencia at Stamford Bridge, given the fact that Chelsea, I think, were lucky to get a point at home to Ajax, I'm just starting to wonder about Chelsea in the Champions League a little bit. I'm going to lean Valencia at home for this one. I, I can see why, because at times it's just they don't look streetwise yeah, enough in the Champions I, League. I, I'll be honest, I, I, just, I stared at those two names forever, just trying to figure out exactly how I thought about that game and which way it would go, and I found myself leaning home team just. I'll go draw. And I can see Chelsea winning it. It's one of these these games. Mm. No result would surprise me. Uh, Lille against Ajax. Yeah, I think this is this is Ajax's to, to win. And as we've spoken about how much at stake all three of these teams on seven points, this is a big week for all three. We had Julian Laurent on ESPN mm -hmm. FC saying the loser, if there is one in this game, gets fired. Would that be a surprise? Uh, no. I, I, I'll be honest with you. Barcelona have not looked themselves. And to put things in perspective, two set pieces on the weekend, I mean, that's not the Barca we're talking no. about. At the same time, if you saw Dortmund against Paderborn, that was as bad a defensive display as I'd seen from any top European club anywhere for quite some time. They managed to get it back somehow, Borussia Dortmund, but I, I, I am not convinced by them. Similarly with Barcelona, Unless we're talking about Lionel Messi and how great he is, they just seem to be blowing smoke, in, in, in all honesty. I'm going, to, I'm going to lean Barca. A couple of reasons. They're at home. And as I said previously, I don't think you can get any worse defensively than what we've seen from Dortmund. You can need a good defence to go. If to you can't score against them, then you better get sacked. I think it'll be our Vida Zane to Lucien Favre. No, Slavia Prague, Inter. Yeah, and as much as, as Slavia Prague got a point at Inter in the reverse fixture, I just feel Inter turn things around away from home and somehow carve out a result. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be very narrow and may very well be very late. How is that for a prediction? They were awful in match day one. They needed a, a very late mm. goal to, to get a point. I think they get all three, though, in their trip to the Czech Republic. Oh, that's decent. Yeah, and, and this is one, and I've, I've said this before, I think the later we go on in the season, the more Liverpool will start to focus on the league. And given what we've seen from Napoli, Andy, <laughs> I, I don't want to say it's infighting because it seems like it's Ancelotti and the players against the ball. I mean, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous scenario. I just feel too many distractions for Napoli right now. Liverpool, get the job done. You might not want to call it infighting. I will. Shambles. Uh, yeah, good fixtures, Champions League on the So way. just one between us. Is that okay? I'll take it. Okay. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.